Well, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. We're doing an overview of the max list. Love the max list stocks. Big institutional names. Love them. And you have to buy them at the right time. One of the things we do at Mission Winners, we're always looking at the charts, weekly and daily, looking for the right time. The low risk entry spot. Apple's hanging in here. Great run right here. Got choppy root here. A little bit of selling here. Can it lift off the 21 EMA? Potential entry there, going sideways. It's still in good shape, by the way. Team, it's above the rising 50-day. It's on the above the rising 21 EMA. It's a little bit of the 80 EMA. These are the things we look at emission winners, just overviews. Amazon got spanked on Friday. What did we do before then? Team, we bought this down here. This is for everybody. We bought this down here. We bought more here. This thing rallied up. We sold a bunch up in here. Starts to fall. We sold more, sold more up here. We have very little shares left. I mean, I'm talking small. Why did we keep some? Because the thing could have gapped up big. But guess what? This is the beautiful part. By the sales that we did up here, we're still profitable, even if it's here. That's the key to the game. Good investment management. By the way, no day trading, no five-minute charts. There you go. Alibaba, in one second, what does this say? Leave me alone. Baidu, in one second, leave me alone. That's power. Facebook lifted up on earnings, pulled back. What is it? What could it do? Bounce off the rising 21 EMA. Takes out these highs. Potential entry. Max list stock. Google's entries. Folks are still in it, letting it work. Pulling back here. How does this look? Well, it rallied up on heavy volume. It's pulling back on steadily decreasing volume. That's good. What's the trend? The trend is up. There you go. Goldman Sachs going sideways, goes above these lines. That would be good. But boy, they knocked the tar out of it right here. And there is some selling in here. Look at those red bars. So needs to show some power by, via volume and price. MasterCard is loose at this point in time. Microsoft has been great. Look at that trend. Still letting it work. Note the price alert, the lower alert. And you know what I'll do? If this starts to bounce off the ADMA, guess what? We may buy more if the market's good. Netflix chopping around, really nothing to do with it. NVIDIA has been great. Entry right here and entry right here. Rallied up, sold in a strength. You got a four for one split, sold more in great shape. Goes across these lines. There's potential entry there. But again, this is the beautiful part. We're down here and here. We're in the driver's seat with it and we've locked in some good profits. Now we'll let it work and see what happens. We won't get sloppy, all right? But we won't also, we'll be ready for opportunity. Square started to lift off, gave it all right back. Part of the market right there. Tesla. Look at that line on Tesla. You see this right here? See that volume pickup? Clean and simple line. Clean and simple tops. Nothing fancy. Goes across this line right here. There's potential for a buy there. But what is it going to need? Think about this. It's going to need a good market and it's going to lead, need, lead through that top right there, that line, with volume. There you go. There's your setup. Twitter. Nice long base. Look at the volume on that bar. What's it for me? You can say, that looks okay. Look at this. What do you see here? I see kind of a cup and a handle, folks. Goes across that line on the weekly. We're set. By the way, yeah, we have a price alert set already. There we go. Visa, it's hanging in there, but there's no setup right now. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.